Hi, can everyone hear me? Last time I was having sound issues and I'm having internet issues, so. Um, can everyone hear? Um, how's everyone's night going? Everyone ready to? Hi, okay, hang on, I'm gonna get Alex on. One second. Um, oh wait, shoot, sorry Alex. Um, okay. Um, how does, I think you click on, <laughs> see, we're in the wrong profession. I, we're both technically challenged. Um, so to go live with someone, I think you hit, oh, here we go. Okay. Oh no, it says you're unable to join. Oh. Hey! There we are. <laughs> How are you? Doing? <laughs> For sure, I was like, oh gosh, I have no clue what I'm doing. I oh, I know. Doing. I'm terrible. I, I feel like sometimes I'm in the wrong industry. I have no idea what to do with uh, a cell phone half the time or like Instagram, yeah. social media and stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh. Well, this should be interesting then. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Is it hot in Dallas? It's, it's hot in Austin. Yes. Yeah. It was like nice and sunny today and really warm. Which yeah. I was just glad the sun was out. I know. Made me in a better mood immediately. Exactly. I know. Yeah. So did you make your margarita yet? Margarita time? No, I haven't. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to make it, make it in real time or make it before. Have you already made yours? No, I haven't. I saw you got the here. El Royo. Yeah, I got El Royo. Um, I couldn't okay, get cool. all the ingredients for Clayton, so... And I was really nervous about messing it up on camera, so I thought for the first time I better, better just stick to this for now. Well, it's good that you're supporting El Royo. They're the best. So, Clayton, why don't you come hold? Clayton will hold the camera. We'll make his margs. I should Perfect. probably just let him do it. But I know I have Jerry here. Go. He does not like to be on camera. Wait, how do we? Where's my husband? Hi, Jared. Hi, how are you? Okay, how do I move the camera? There's Clayton. Hey, Clayton. He's got to I think you're winning He's the beard contest. Oh my gosh, your beard is amazing. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Did you see Damn that he's shaving his um, on Sunday? No, no way, for what? We uh, did a campaign to raise money for Feeding America, and if we hit our goal, then he's going to shave his beard, and we hit our goal, and he's That's shaving amazing. this hair um, of a beard. <laughs> are you shaving all the way, or are you shaving it just partially? No, I think I'm going to take it all the way. I may leave the stash. We don't know Yes, yet. please. On that Only time will tell. <laughs> Looks good it. as always. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. We have tequila in a baby's hand. This is not Yeah, she's doing well. Okay. Jared, how do you flip the camera? What's it? How did you flip the camera to film her? Uh, I just held it in my palm. I'm kind of standing here. Oh, okay. I guess you just that way. I don't know how to. I don't know if you can. Maybe we're supposed to that thing, but... Oh, you can. Go ahead. Yeah. So do you want me to teach everyone how to make Clayton? I want to know how to make Clayton. Burn, you want to make Clayton? Oh, this is kind of hard. Okay. I'll, I'll Hold on. It's backward for my hand. Well, you're just going to have to figure it out. I don't know how to do it. Is this you? You can hold it. Hold just on. Just kind of angle it. Okay. okay. So... We're yeah. one cup of tequila. Yeah. Yeah. This, so we're you watching live? I can't. You've had them before. We got a cup of tequila. And then, usually, so if you wanted to just keep it all lime juice, you could go a cup of lime. But no, a half cup of lime. Oh, half cup. See, I've already messed up margarita. We're going to do a quarter cup of lime here and then a quarter cup of grapefruit. But if you just had lime juice, you could go a half cup of all lime. Um, no, I'm just, I'm watching first because I have the El Royal one. Yeah. <laughs> I bet those are delicious. I've got a quarter cup of Contro. However you say like that. Golly, you're pouring because they're terrible. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, and then last, no, it's not two more things. Simple syrup. Hi. You can make if you have sugar and water. This is very big. Just Google how to make simple yeah, syrup. Um, we're going to have a cup of simple syrup. And then lastly, now this is Clayton's special touch, um, which might sound weird if you have never made a drink with egg white before, but you probably had it at like a bar where you have like a frothy drink. Like a piece goes sour. A little bit frothy. We're just adding like, just adding like a, a dollop of egg white. Um, we're just going to get it to frothy. We're going to make it like restaurant fun. And then we'll give it a whirl. Oh, that looks so good. And you'll have to try these. These are like one of the most popular recipes on my blog. Um, this hurts. I know. My, my arm is tired. My arm is going down. It's going to be a long time making a shot for you, too. Well, and, oh, shit. Hold on. Let me get to my head here. Sutton. Say hello, Sutton. Hi. Yeah, don't say hello. Hi, Linda. No, she's not saying hello right now. Okay. I can't figure out how to keep the ice out of here. Hi. All right. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Okay. Cheers. Have you made Cheers. yours? Amazing. All right, I'll grab mine really fast. Oh, it's so cool. Here, oh, you sit here. I'm just going to wing this one. Sorry. Holy. I just have the El Royale. I don't know. If, I think I have a bad oh, internet connection for some reason, so bear with me. I'm sorry. But I'll just. No, you're I, good. I wing this. This is the El Royale mix. I think it's just, it says it's um, just some margarita mix, simple syrup, triple sec, and a little orange juice. So. Um, my ice has melted a little bit, but I've stick the ice in. I put a little uh, salt on top of the ice, a trick for my friend, Aunt Sandy. And then we add a little bit of this. And then I don't know which side is the ounce side. I mean, this is <laughs> like, is this the ounce? Is this the ounce? But I always go with the bigger look. side. Might as well. <laughs> right? And in desperate times. So a little tequila. A little bit of lime, and then some sparkling water. And I, I hope I'm not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I hope I'm not disappointing El Arroyo because they have the best marks, but cheers. Oh, I can hear you. All right, cheers. We finally got two made. I'm having difficulties <laughs> with my ice maker, but. Cheers to everyone watching that has a drink too. <laughs> Cheers, guys. We put tahini on the top of ours. Oh, yeah. Yum. Hey, will you give me uh, some tahini? Oh, yeah. Like, reminded me, we put tahini on the top of ours for a little pizzazz. That's good. Yum. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. We did it. Margaritas. Margaritas. Uh -huh. Just in time. <laughs> yes. We've been drinking aggressively lately, which trying to hone in, but it's Tuesday. So. <laughs> it's, it's Tuesday. I mean, it is Tuesday. It's a long weekend, right? Yes, it is. There are no longer any rules. No. All the rules are out the window. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I think sure. that's the biggest thing is that everything has to go out the window. Um, okay. Next up, shall we make enchiladas? Let's do it. <laughs> Do you want to try and reconnect? Right, set. Yeah, I see. Um, am I pixelated or am I okay? You're a little bit pixelated, but. Do you want okay. to try and fix the internet for a second or should we just go for it? Round two enchilada. What? Round two enchilada. It says that I'm blurry. Maybe I'll just, um, let me just try and see if I can fix the internet super fast and we'll see if this will help anything. Okay. It might cut off for a second, but bear with me. Sorry, guys. Okay.
It's my Enchiladas. family's favorite. Yeah, they like inhale them. It's their absolute okay. favorite. It's awesome. So everyone's in so for good. a real I'm treat. So glad. It's my okay, perfect. Well, my kids love it too. So I'm glad y'all too. Um, all right, let's start with making the enchilada sauce. Obviously, you can buy um, like pre made enchilada sauce, but I think this is what makes them so much better is having yeah. the, the homemade. It really brings out all the flavors. And this is my this is my favorite um, quarantine meal, honest to God. Enchiladas. So, yeah, I'm not lying. I ate like I'm seven. I'm so glad. You did. I was beating the kids <laughs> right. up. See if you can hover it over the like, like no over the sauce, not me. People don't care about me. They're with the sauce. <laughs> you can do this. this I've got so a really good camera crew. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Are we beating this way, baby? No, come over here, babe. Come help me cook. I need your help. I'm a sandwich. No, we don't need sandwich. Come on, we're home. Come help me. Come here. Okay. All right, she's gone. Okay. Oh, I'm on the wrong bowl. You're in the witch? I can't see. This thing is so <laughs> Just dark. hold it right there. Let me see. Why is it? Okay. I'm telling you, it's backwards. No, it's not. Tilt it down right there. Okay, there. All right, so I'm melting some ghee. You could use butter or oil here as well. And then all these beautiful spices are going to go in. I've got a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. And this is, we'll share the recipe at the end for anybody that needs exact. A little bit of cayenne pepper. I go heavy handed. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Teaspoon of onion powder. If I can get out of here. And this sauce is out of this world. It is so good. I I was shocked at how simple it was and how flavorful it was. Yeah, like usually you could use real chilies, of course, but this is such a good like shortcut way to. Oh, yeah. That was so uh, with paprika, and then we have some cumin. Yeah, it's a great shortcut way to get um, enchilada sauce on the table real quickly, and it's yeah. nice and clean, no sugar added or anything. Oregano, cumin, paprika. You can show all the. Spices over here. Right. <laughs> and so we're gonna kind of toast this up. Toasting is gonna bring out the flavor. And then we'll Hopefully we're not burning. No, it's, I can't get this. Did you add the tomato paste yet? Not yet. I'm about to. So toast this up. Okay, there we but we can go ahead and do the tomato paste. We're going a tablespoon of tomato paste. In there Here. aggressively, throw that all in. Start to burn. Ah, smells so good. And then, so that air root in it, you can add the air root now. Ooh, that's hot. And then the broth, once we get that all mixed together. So it's kind of going to turn into like a weird paste, but I'll try this off. I'm going to slowly whisk in this broth. And I just need a cup and a half, right? Is it a cup and a half? Yeah, it's a cup and a half to start, and then we're going to let it sit in a little bit, and then we're going to thin it back out. And what broth do you, do you use? I just have some beef broth that I had in the fridge, but really, like, you could use vegetable broth, chicken broth, anything really works here. But since you they are beef enchiladas, I, I figured I'd go with the theme of beef. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I, I love bone broth, broth, especially right now. It's so, I mean, it's good anyways, but it's just so good for your body. Some boat. Did you have home homemade bone broth? Well, I haven't Coach made bed? homemade, but I'd love to learn. Okay. Oh yes. Well, I actually just did a video today. I'm going to post tomorrow about how to make bone broth. So. Oh no way. Okay. Well, I'm definitely tuning in. Okay. So we're going to let this kind of thicken and keep that leftover half a cup for just a second while that's thickening. 
Okay. For just like a couple minutes. Hands are dirty. Okay. Oh. Hey, Doc. You're a runaway three-year-old. You're on a choo-choo train. train? Okay. I don't know if I can right now. All aboard. <laughs> now, you guys have, you have two kids? Yes. We'll see if before long they can hear. They're seven and four. Ah. So they can kind of entertain themselves for a hot minute. They'll probably be back and just in no time to help or get involved, but yeah, we shall see. Okay, mine's pretty thick right now, so I'm gonna thin it out with the rest of my broth. And then we can just kind of leave this on warm while we get our ground beef and the rest of the enchiladas going. Okay. How's yours coming along? I think it's good. It's thickening, thickening up. I added, I think I added too much broth. Or, too quick. No. It looks good. I think it'll, it'll get there. We have plenty of time. It'll thicken for sure. Um, okay. Right. I, this is just the dampest thing. He's having a hard time with this whole thing. Yeah, my arms Jared's are tired. I keep on going from one arm. Just like flip around go from one hand to the so other. There's no way to do it, huh? Hey, Doc. What is Mom making? Say enchilada. Enchilada. Here, come here, miss. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's very hot, right? You don't need to carry me. I don't. <laughs> I know, you're getting... How old is she? She just turned three. Uh, oh, how exciting. I know, she had her birthday on the 17th, so it was the first week, kind of. The me? Week. Me? Yeah. And it was so sad, because Elsa was supposed to come and say hi, and... Oh, no. We had to tell Elsa she couldn't come. Oh, <laughs> she called her. Erin Dale was dangerous. Erin Dale was dangerous, yeah. Yeah. Erin <laughs> Dale was under quarantine. Okay, so I'm getting my ground beef going. Okay. Um, if you want to do the same. So I just have, yeah, I have a pound and a half of ground beef that I'm browning up. And then it's just in a little bit of olive oil to give it some something to cook in. But the only thing I'm going to add to this, just because that's so flavorful, we really don't need to do much to this, is I'm adding, can you see this? This is so hard. Um, some onions. onions. And then oh, no, like diced green chili. Right. Can I see? There it is. There it is. Onions. And of course, the old salt and pepper. Yep. Crank that pepper. I know. I should have used that out of the jar. Okay. So we actually, we're not vegetarian, but um, we try, we eat meat like, instead of doing meat free Mondays, we flip flopped it. And so we, um, we've been doing like one day a week of meat. Yeah. So we actually have been using, um, I think it's gar gardenia, gar gardenia. So this is actually, um, like a uh, plant thing. Plant-based, yeah. Oh, cool. What's the brand that you use? It's Gardenia. Hold on, I'll grab it. It's soy, which I know soy is not the best. I don't even have it. Um, but do you like the taste of it? Yeah, I do. I think it, it takes the flavors on really, really well. And yeah. like, when we uh, ate it, we couldn't even tell the difference. It tasted just like... Yeah. And the kids had no... They didn't know the difference, which is cool. Um, That's great. Well, and this is like one of those recipes with that sauce. It doesn't matter what you use, what protein you can use. Oh, yeah. Chicken, ground chicken, ground turkey, like whatever you have in your freezer is, is good because the sauce, the sauce is so the good. Yeah. Yeah. Where to put my sauce now? Where's the... We need this. <laughs> can you see if I'm on it? 
<laughs> you're not on it. You're good. You're yeah. You're on the meat. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Clayton can get some practice with his filming skills over here. Holy moly! This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Uh, someone's asking how long it takes, and how long it takes to what? To cook it. I think all of your recipes are really quick, and easy, and like super. Yeah. Okay. This one I think is like a forty minute. 30 minutes to 40 minute meal. It'll probably take 40 with us doing it here, but yeah, um, but you could get it done in 30 minutes easily. Yeah. And you could use the jarred um, enchilada sauce, which while we're waiting real quick, I'll show you. But I think if you pre, if you prep it, it's probably takes even less time, right? Yeah, um, for sure. You can have the enchilada sauce, but this is the enchilada sauce that I recommend. It's from Siete Foods. Oh yeah. It's, wait, where are you playing? Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like tracing him. Um, this is a really good one. It just came out. So like whenever I did my cookbook, there wasn't a, like a paleo or whole 30 compliant sauce at the time. Yeah. So that's really why I made my own. But okay. now I just love the yes. one that sauce down. Um, that's a really good one if you're in a bind and want to get dinner on the table a lot quicker. Yeah. Or if you have a accident in the house like our daughter just had. Oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh lord. Um, ours are uh, mysteriously quiet right now. Yeah, ours are a little too quiet. I'm Which is also nerve-wracking. I hope they're alive back there. We, um, we let ours sit in front of um, Super Smash Brothers, which is like Jared's childhood game that he loves from growing up. So they're like glued to the teeth. So we, at least we know where they're not going anywhere. Did y'all just get Super Smash Brothers during the quarantine? Is that like something you brought back? He past? brought it back during the quarantine, yeah. I feel like that's what I've been doing. It's like, I bought the girls like Pretty Pretty Princess. It's a game like my sister and I used to play as a kid. I don't know if you ever played that. The Pretty Pretty like, Princess? Yeah, and I got the girls Skip It. Oh my gosh, what, what is Skip It? Is that the thing where you jump and yeah, it like, has the a ball? Yeah, the thing you put on your ankle. Yeah. Yeah, the thing that you put on your ankle. Yeah, so we've been doing, I've been trying to think of all the things that I used to like to do as a kid, which has been kind of fun to, to them. The Skip It's though were like knockoff versions, like PE quality. Yeah. They're terrible, I don't yeah. recommend them. They don't sell the original ones anymore. Oh no. <laughs> but, I think um, um, Jerry got his Nintendo as a gift from his... Um, producer of Supernatural, I think he knew that he's a kid at heart, so he got him uh, the original Nintendo, yeah. So he brought it out. That's so much fun. <laughs> okay, how's your ground meat going? Mine looks good. Okay, mine is good too. So now it's kind of time for the hard part. We're eating dinner. Which is rolling... No, nope, we're having a date at home tonight. No. No. All right. Okay. So do you have the Siete Foods tortillas? Is that what you're using? Yeah, yeah. Those okay. are great. Okay, perfect. So obviously whatever you have on hand right now goes because it's quarantine time. But this is the type of tortillas I like to use. Again, yep. from Siete Foods. Um, I obviously like them a lot. Um, and they're grain-free cassava flour tortillas. The only thing about working with them is you definitely have to heat them up or else they will break. So yeah. it's a little bit more uh, cumbersome to roll these rather than like getting a basic flour tortilla. You can roll them right up and all is well. You don't have to preheat them or anything. So if you have regular flour tortillas, that's fine. Um, but we're going to be using these and I'll show you how I work with them to get them really pliable to roll into. Um, so I have eight of these. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna add like half a cup of the sauce to my ground beef. Okay. Sorry, my cameraman's changing a. And all good. <laughs> it's a little bit leaner because it's um from my ranch randomly, um, so I have to drain it off. But obviously, if yours is fattier, then use it. Um, hey, Winnie. Drain it off first. Thank you. Okay. I'm just Time for the roll. Grab the roll. Sure. Adding 
Are you okay over there? I'm not happy about this. <laughs> Um, so people are asking the brand of tortillas, and they are Siete, which is actually a local company here in Austin. Yes, they have hot sauces, tortillas, Every chips, day. everything now. They're awesome. So family run. Yes, family run. Really, really good people. Yeah. Um, okay, so now sometimes they're easier to work with than others, so let's see what happens today, because these came out of my freezer. So Clayton, get closer. <laughs> Okay. He's scared. So I'm just going to kind of tap them in oh, the sauce. On. Let me make sure that I can, you can do it. Get down right there. Yep. There we go. And then add a little bit of the beef mixture and then roll it up and then come over here. I can probably set up a better assembly line if this is going to work. Hold on. I'm going to go. Wait. I think so. All right. And then seam side down. And if they're giving you a hard time, this is my other hack. So if you're having a hard time rolling them and they're still cracking, Hold on. you can do this thing. Oh. I believe in you. Um, I heat up my, if you have an electric stove, you could do this in a skillet. But I basically just kind of throw it over the flame, go oh. quickly, front and back for like 30 seconds to size and grab some tongs so I don't burn my fingers off. Um, and this is going to really make them pliable. And this is like if you're making tacos with them or anything, now you can see that they bend and they don't crack anymore. So that is my other little Is hat. that on the right? Was that even on it? I have no clue if that was on it or you not. You need to start paying attention so I, I know can. where to... I, I can only do so we can talk. You can handle the camera. Like. <laughs> okay. So now they're really easy to roll. If you're having trouble rolling yours or anything, that's my best tip. So... I'm gonna wing it. Hey, babe, will you grab the um, casserole dish? Yep. And for those tuning in, who think my Wi-Fi is bad. I know. I'm really sorry. I think um, with quarantine and everything, everyone's like using internet. I don't know what's going, on, but ours is not working properly. So in a second, I'll step outside, and it'll be a little bit better. I hope, and I can use my cellular, but. Yes, chat while this is all cooking off. Sorry, there's not a whole lot I can do. Um, Put this over here. Get a station set up. I'm being messy. He's okay. good. And again, there's truly are. Okay. Make sure you can Just point it down. Over. This is probably the mess. Down more. There, right there. Okay, so now I am just, I'm putting like two tablespoons of the meat mixture. I'm just rolling that. And a little bit of the sauce so they don't get dry when they're baking. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Making such a mess. <laughs> Oh, uh, me too. But that's what you do when you cook, you know? Yes. Not me. I'm always. Juan especially. I'm tidy. You're clean cook. You're tidy, yeah. I'm just a bad. Since he does so much cooking. <laughs> Where's the margarita? Oh. Nachos. <laughs> Jared makes really good nachos. His nachos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I Clayton makes a killer grilled cheese. That's the one thing the girls claim is better than me. Oh, yeah. Which oh. offends me slightly because I take pride in my grilled cheeses. Um, and scrambled eggs. You can always ask for your egg. <laughs> Add a little extra cheese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you don't mind. Oh, Ooh. hot. Right, Clayton, we have four more tortillas, and then you're off the hook. <laughs> I just want to know that it's on the right. You're, you're doing good. You can maybe tilt it slightly this way. There you go, right there. <laughs> Goodness. That tortilla. Okay. Good job. Yep. You made a fort. Good job. Good fort. 
I think um, during like all rules go out the window, we have forts everywhere. The house is a total mess and disaster. Oh yeah. I had to let go of all my OCD. It's impossible to keep a clean house when everyone is inside it 24 hours a day. Oh, no. And then, um, yeah, it's tough. And, you know, with young kids and you got to get them to move and get outside. It's, it's tough. Yeah. Well, we are um, living in an apartment right now because we're remodeling the house. And, you know, you really miss having a backyard. But luckily, like, where we are has a nice grass area out front. So we've been trying to oh, good. get out and move a little bit more. But could you know, I miss having a home. Point. Closing all the parks and stuff too in Austin is. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. They had all of them open um, until I guess closing them. All. That'll be. We haven't actually gone. Yeah, and it's not like anybody ever goes to the parks in Austin either. <laughs> <laughs> He's kidding. We used to live in Austin, and obviously people are very passionate about the parks there. Uh, I love. I think I made too much meat, but I like that. We can use it in a bowl or something. All right, there we go. Have you already rolled all yours? Yeah. yeah. Sure. You're a pro. <laughs> I don't think you're talking too much. Okay, okay. I'll move a little bit faster. Oh, here, I'll just wash it in the sink. So do your girls like frozen? Oh my gosh, yes. We've watched Frozen 2 825 times. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Oh, oh, Dad's been reenacting the whole, like, scenes, and she'll go to doors and go, like, so far. Oh, so pretend that's that incredible. Anna, huh? Yes, that's Winnie, our youngest favorite right now. She's all about Frozen 2. We've watched it a million times. Okay. Yeah, they watch Frozen as well, like you. Yeah. I know. You, <laughs> you and Winnie might have to sing it together in a minute. Yeah. If they don't get shy. <laughs> okay. So, I I mean, I know there's a lot of meat left. I usually kind of just top it. All my favorite Tex-Mex restaurants do this. They add a little bit of the beef right on the top, kind of down the center. <laughs> and then, oh, Sorry. I'm going to hand her to you. Yeah, you can see. Uh -huh. Maybe tilt it down a teeth bit more. Here, Um, so sorry guys, but this is less. Here we go. Um, so you stick your meat on top? I do. I just do a little row down the center. Hey, okay. I feel like it kind of shows off like what's inside and lets people know. And then, of course, if you're not a cheese person, you don't have to put cheese on top. But um, or you could use that CSA cashew queso. Oh, that's so good too. Delicious. Sprinkle some cheese, and this is going in the oven at 325. I can't remember how long I bake them. Um, do I think it's 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah. You can see enchiladas going in the oven. And they're uncovered, so they get nice and bubbly. Yes, but. Okay. I did it. <laughs> Woo! All right. Here's my. Woo! Woo! Looking good. Can I have some of this? All right. <laughs> Where's my margarita now? I keep. Oh, there it is. It's on a bite. That's what Clayton's doing over here. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Wait, do you want to say hi? Okay. No. <laughs> this is what happens when they get along. It's like, when do you want to say hi? Nah. I know, exactly. All right, I'm going to go outside and hopefully this will be a better connection. Is that better? Yes. You can definitely see better. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we need 15 minutes. Yes, we have 15 minutes. It could probably go a little bit less, but um, you know what? Clayton, will you be on the alarm on that? Because I will totally forget. Actually, Alexa, set my timer for 12 minutes. We'll have her let us know. 
my only trustworthy sous chef. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not clean. No, oh, did you get oh, did you bonk your lip? You're so brave. Someone get her. She bonked her lip, huh? Do you know? I don't know. But licorice makes it all better. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hi. So perfect time Hi. to finish the margarita. Yes. No. So are you from are you from Dallas? Is it, huh? I'm from a small town north of Dallas. Salina, Texas is the name of it. You know? Oh, no. Yes, I do. My husband's from San Antonio. Okay. So I grew up in Salina. And then um, my husband and I lived in Austin for a while after college. And then we moved to Dallas. Like, Salina's pretty close to Dallas. And he grew up in Fort Worth. So it's kind of like oh, cool. in the middle of both of our families. So it's, it's nice to be close to both. Did you guys go to UT? No, we actually went to TCU here in Fort Worth. So. Awesome. Yeah, we just went to Austin. We actually worked at the Capitol for a little bit and loved living okay. there. We almost stayed, but having family around is kind of nice. So Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Jared's family is in uh, San Antonio, and then my family is between Idaho and California. So I certainly – it's nice having his family close by for a helping hand, and, but I certainly for miss sure. mine. How long have you been in Austin? We've been here, um, we moved here when I got pregnant with Tom, my oldest, who's eight. So okay. Must have been almost nine years ago, which is kind of crazy. It went so fast. Yeah, for sure. It's such a great city, though. I yeah. love it. We it's, visit multiple times a year. It's growing. Yeah, it's crazy. Every time we go, it's like a whole new city. It's just growing so fast. But I know, it's kind of always so fun. It's just the skyline every time, you know, we're driving mm -hmm. down over Redbud. It's like, yeah, so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Aw. Um, yeah, it's, I, I enjoyed, I had never been to the South, actually, until I met my husband. So, um, I grew up. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, but it's so, I had such a misconception of like, or, you know, like what it was like. And I, it's just, everyone is so kind and nice and warm and you know especially in austin and dallas and everyone's just so friendly and inviting and it's it is one of those places where you move in and they're like hey here's a pie yeah <laughs> for sure it, it has a reputation for that it's, it's kind so of sweet yeah yeah for sure especially in times like this it's like the tensions are so high but to still be able to have a smile with people that you run into for the most part is yeah lovely so yeah I'm trying to find something i can tilt my phone up against um, but what have y'all been doing to pass the time? What's your um, what favorite have been... activity <laughs> other than Nintendo? <laughs> oh, I know. Well, and it's so funny. I've been, I've really had to kind of let the rules go because uh -huh. I'm so, I feel like it's my one <laughs> job is to take care of the kids and have a certain, you know, like this is how we run our day. And um, my husband works in Vancouver, Canada. That's where he shoots his show. And so, you know, for us, this is, you know, living together and, like, co-parenting. And we don't get a lot of that together. So mm -hmm. I think um, it's just been nice because, like, I have a partner who's able to take over. And, but I have to, like, let go and be like, okay, you do things differently and it's fine. And Yes, for sure. Everything um, just has changed so quickly. But there's... A lot of beauty out of it too. Yeah, at home to have those moments with your kids. I know that like having. I think it's good for kids to be bored and like to think about like, okay, what are some new activities that we can do that we've never done before that isn't part of like our normal routine? Yeah, and bringing those into your lives and realizing those things that we used to do as kids are so much fun and enjoyable. Yeah. To do we've been playing so many games together. Like we've never really taken the time to have like family game nights. Yeah. And, we're bringing them back and they're coming in hot so it's been lovely to do it's that as well. so much that's been so much fun and all quality time um i mean half the time they're sleeping in our room which is fun like we'll have movie nights together and we'll be making desserts together and i think all gathering and cooking and it's i feel like simplifying you know i and i feel kind of silly saying that but you know it's really just kind of gathering together and playing you know games cooking and all that stuff has just been really nice for everybody yeah 
It adds more, it's like usually, you know, Wednesday night, you're trying to get dinner on the table and get done with dinner so you can do homework and then get done with that so you can get in the bath and everything is just so fast paced. But now it's like, okay, like set and set the table sometimes. And we actually like take the time. I mean, it's different sitting around the table when someone sets it and you like set an intention to like sit down and like, okay, let's talk. Cause this is an activity. Yeah. This dinner is an activity. This is not like, let's hurry up and move on to the next thing. So yeah, exactly. that's, it's been nice to remember how important that time is too. Cause yeah. I think it's really bad for the kids as well. What's everyone else been doing? Uh, I'm looking at all the notes. Is any, anyone else have any tips? Is anyone else doing something fun or, um, or if you have any questions. Yeah, if you have any questions. Hold on a second, I'm gonna ask my husband something. Um, hey babe. Hey Oe, where's the key? Hey babe, can you turn the sound off out here? Sorry, love. Um, what's Cox, Coxinha? I saw someone say trying to teach online school and it's not easy. I concur. That is, at first it was like smooth sailing the first week, but I've been, it's a struggle trying to get through that. I have, I have way more respect. Not that I didn't already respect my kids' teachers, but I have a whole another level of respect after trying to teach them over the last couple of weeks. It's that not tickles. easy. It tickles. How about you? Are y'all doing like an online school program with your kids' school? Yeah. And I, at the same boat, just having complete and total respect for what teachers do and go through and the patience that they have. Um, they, all three kids are in different schools and different Zooms and watching the teachers navigate the Zooms with the classroom and everyone's kind of like giggling and someone will pop up and somehow they all manage to like settle them and get their voice across and, and then, yeah. um, yeah, and, and then, you know, on top of it, all the different learning and apps and assignments, and it's it's a lot. It's really difficult. Yeah. Hey, I want to say... Uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> literally, legitimately, thank you for the recipe. When That's Jen so made awesome. it the other day, I was like, I'll eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that should last me halfway through dinner, and then we'll make some more. Perfect. Um, really that. yum. You can put the rest of the meat on the nacho on nachos. You can make some I'll nachos. I'll do what I want with it. <laughs> uh, really awesome. Well, good. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, big time. Um, see y'all soon. Yeah, for sure. Have fun shaving. <laughs> He's going back to. <laughs> I she's she cut her lip, so I'm just gonna go sit with her for a little bit. Oh yeah. Hi. Got it. Got to nurse that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you soon. Um, okay. Is there anyone else with some burning questions? Where can they uh, Where can they get the recipe? Is it on okay. your Is your so cookbook I'll, out yet? Oh yes, it is. It's been okay. out since um, January first. Oh, perfect.